Let's carry on, have a chat with Snore. Bufkin says that he overheard Crane call somebody before he left. Sounds like he's going to see a witch, or his witch. His glamour witch. Wait, really? None of the 13th floor witches would allow that sort of thing. Yeah. They must be somewhere in the city. It's something, at least. Yeah. Find anything? No, but there's enough notes and stuff here to take all night. Maybe check that stuff there. Somewhere in the city, Snow? Really? The city's all we got. <laughs> all we know is that it's not in this building. <laughs> Did you look through that stuff yet? No, I was just wondering if I had exhausted the conversation options with you. And I know I have with you. Well, the, what the conversation options I want to take anyway. There really is nothing else over here. No, oh, that seems like a while ago. It's all been kind of fast paced, isn't it? In the space of a day or two. We've been non stop. Where are you going, Wolfie boy? Hi, Snow. All right. Well, this looks like the room to the to the uh, whatever. What is it? It's the key to his room at the Open Arms. That was it. You still haven't told me what was in there. <laughs> I want to know. I need to know. Crane was uh, paying Lily to live out a fantasy of him and you together. Him, the prince. Forgive me if I spare you the details. Keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head, interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. <sighs> There's only so much you can repress, you know? <sighs> you couldn't have known. Snow, you, you couldn't have known. No, I could have. Come on, let's keep looking. For the record, it is perverse and it is creepy, but I don't know. Heart wants what it wants, and somebody like Crane. <laughs> I don't know. Crane missed the missed the fairy tale times that we had. Even though he's in a position of power here, he seemed to lament about those times, you know, beginning and end and such like that. And his tale, he was always kind of currently and you know he, di he didn't have a princess in his so I, I can kind of like see why he did what he did you know somebody particularly somebody in a position of power if they follow their fantasies or if say this started off with a perfectly innocent innocent caring for snow who he feels that he can never ever get because you know snow is either not part of his tale or just not interested in the fact that Crane is a freaking git. <laughs> then, before he knew it, he may have been down that really dark path with with the recreation and such like that. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not endorsing his behaviour, of course. I'm just saying that that is probably his motivations. Right, let's read these notes. They're right here, for God's sake. Are Ichabod Crane, are there any updates on the extra funding I requested? As I explained in my last lecture, the conditions here could do with some improvement. I'm seeing some unrest from the residents, and I've, I have to admit I can see why. The farm should not be a punishment. I'm sure you're busy, but I think this should be a priority. Will and Smith. You know, the farm shouldn't be a punishment. I thought they lived in comfort up there. Well, relative comfort. A punishment. What's going on up there? Huh. Dear Mr. Gabal Crane, I'm writing to ask again that you please send someone to fix the air conditioning on our unit. It's burning up in the apartment and Pinocchio says his skin is splintering. <laughs> Dark humour. I don't know what that means, but I assume it's something gross and I'd really like it if you'd fix the air like we asked you to three months ago. At the very least, provide us a fan in the meantime. Boy Blue and Pinocchio share... <laughs> Great. Okay, good, good. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, fix the damn air conditioning. Just get a man out for it, for God's sake. Um, 
So that would cost money, I guess. So, Mr. Crane, you said you paid to have the plaster redone in my building after the last incident in 204. It's falling off the fucking walls. Please fix it. I can't rent out that room as it is, and I've already been waiting for days. Not to mention you already promised you'd send someone to fix the big crack in the glass on the front door. Well, guess what? It's worth so now. Get your shit together, Mr. Toad. <sighs> yeah, that was probably some of my fault. <laughs> yeah. Did Crane ever do any work? Only when Cole was around. I know, right? Cole. King Cole. Where's that bastard when you need him? <laughs> yeah, as if, as if going higher into the power structure will help. Still, we don't know King Cole. He might, he, might, he might care. He might be nice. You never know. He was a merry old soul, after all. Hmm. Oh, I want a quick time event for that. Yay. <laughs> the office, uh, the business, uh, blah 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 blah. Official compendium of unauthorized of authorized notices, I think. Oh great! What? There's a page here that was torn out. Oh yeah. Buffkin, do you know what was here? Nice entrance. <laughs> it's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Hmm. Yeah, I only recently heard about this meeting. Why didn't you mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! Hmm. And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. <laughs> he set the meeting at 2 a.m. Tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me called to- I called just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? Oh, I tried this to, but... This isn't your concern. Bluebeard, get the hell out of here. This is none of your business. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. Ugh. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look. This just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror, so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. Buffkin. A.M. or P.M.? P.M. It's P.M. A.M. Damn it. <laughs> Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Define help. What do you know about Crane, anyway? That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. There's much bigger things to be worrying about right now, all right? Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. Ugh. You just like being mad. <sighs> all right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. Ugh. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. <laughs> and a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Where are we looking? Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. Ah. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? Mm. It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere the else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. Oh, come on now. It has to be our focus. Look, chances are I'll have to swing by both anyway, so... No, chances are you won't have time. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? 
I don't know where it is. <laughs> then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh. Now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Stay out of it. Bluebeard, just stay out of it, all right? You'll just mess things up further. They can't get any more messed up. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. <laughs> Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. Yep. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? No, oh, great. <sighs> So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. Oh, I don't need sympathy, and I don't need charity. <laughs> oh, thank God it gives me time for this one. I don't know. I'm not setting Bluebeard loose on Holly. If Bluebeard's gonna go anywhere, I'd rather it be to D's. Hmm. So for me, Crane's apartment, Holly's bar. Thing is, Crane had time. Or did he though? I mean, all right, stop ticking at me, God damn it! <laughs> Holly's bar is the one place where I think that they might have not been able to get the evidence out. That Crane might have not been able to get the evidence away. D, D, there's something there. However, in the meantime, it's important that we track. Oh, do we lose D permanently? Hmm. I don't know. It's a risk either way. A three choice thing. God damn it. <laughs> I want to go to all of them. I want to investigate every single one. But mayhap I can only pick one. So which one? D's office. Why why would D, why would the D's have an interest in Crane? What are they possibly going to do to him? Who the hell are they working for? The Crooked Man? They are after Beauty. Hmm. And Beauty took out a loan from the Crooked Man. Does Crane owe them something? Maybe he took out a loan. So the D's may be able to help me find their boss, but I'm not convinced that they are to do with the murders. Faith stole something. In terms of the murders, I think this is probably unrelated. As for Crane's apartment, Crane could have left something. I don't know if he had time to clean out his place before he left. Seems quite likely there'd be evidence there. I don't know what Bluebeard's up to, is the thing. I almost think that one guess is as good as the other. I am leaning towards Holly's bar because Lily's stuff Holly has might um I don't know, I mean we checked out some of Lily's stuff there in the in the uh, in the club in the club, but I don't think she takes everything there. So I think it's probably better to go see Lily's stuff. Maybe there's some sort of evidence or something like that that we can find there. Crane's apartment would be a good lead, but I'm not convinced of its usefulness. So... Tempting. Meh. 
fingers freaking crossed here, guys. The witch's identity must be with Lily's stuff. I should go see Holly first. Perfect. And I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll check in with you later. I hope you know what you're doing. Yeah, me too. Who is it? Is it for me? Tell them I'll call them back. <laughs> <laughs>